Hello everybody, this is Barley the Thing, and welcome to another Pokemon Sun and Moon update video. Another brand new trailer was uploaded to the Japanese YouTube channel today that detailed some of the new features we're going to be seeing in the Sun and Moon games. So the trailer first shows some footage of a battle royale taking place. Nothing really new here was revealed, but it was confirmed that we're going to be seeing uh, moves like Razor Leaf that damage all other opponents on the field, which is nice to see. We also get a look at the menu for the games. There's not much of note here. We have the icons for Pokemon, Pokedex... Uh, the bag, saving, and the trainer card as we do in every generation. But there's also a new icon down the bottom there called Pokey Referee, which is apparently short for Refresh, so I'm just going to call it Poker Refresh from now on. But Poker Refresh is a new feature that looks similar to Pokemon to me, in the sense that you can interact with your Pokemon. However, Poker Refresh allows you to blow dry and brush your Pokemon, which I get, and it had like little hearts come up, so I'm guessing that's going to raise its friendship exactly the same way as Pokemon to me did. But we also get a look at the return of riding Pokemon, which is nice. There was an image on the official website uh, teasing this a while ago when we got the information about Drampart and the other Pokemon. But we got, get a more in-depth look here. It seems that we can ride Pokemon using harnesses. Uh, I'm not sure if this is an in-game item that we can use on our own Pokemon. Or if they're just Pokemon sitting out in the wild who are already wearing these. Uh, it is confirmed that we're going to be able to ride Tauros, Stoutland, Lapras and Sharpedo. Lapras and Sharpedo obviously we can travel across water with. Sharpedo seems a lot faster than Lapras. And Taurus and Stoutland we can uh, ride on land, obviously. And Taurus will seem in the trailer to be, like, charging around. So maybe you can use uh, Taurus to, like, smash down obstacles in your way. I don't know. We also get some shots of some of the new environments in the game. Uh, we see the player running through a volcanic area and a really cool mossy cave as well. We also get a shot of the player and how riding a boat, which is presumably uh, going to be them heading off to another island, which is really cool. It's a really nice sort of sweeping camera motion as well, which I really like. Uh, but the trailer also showed us a clip of the player catching an Eevee, which is then shown in the Pokedex to have eight evolutions. Which means that anyone who thought or was hoping we're going to get a Dragon-type evolution this gen, um, unfortunately we're not going to get any new evolutions for this generation, which is a shame. But, you know, what can we do? So now this is the most interesting bit of the trailer. We've finally got some information on those little crystals that we saw on the player's wrists and on the Japanese logos. So they don't allow Pokemon to undergo Synchro evolution, as everyone had thought they would. But instead the trainer can activate these crystals and do some weird poses and stuff. And it gives their Pokemon energy to unleash some really powerful new moves. So the trainer showed that Pikachu, Rowlet, Litten and Poplio were all capable of performing these supercharged moves. And I'm going to assume that Rockruff is also going to be able to do this as well. Because Korokora said that the Alola starters and Rockruff had a special secret that they held. And I'm assuming that this supercharged move crystal thing is going to be that secret. But anyway, that's all for this video, guys. Thank you, everyone, for watching. Remember to like and subscribe to my channel. I've been Barley The Thing, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.